do you uh, like being carried off like that as the, <laughs> as the I, I'm assuming that's the ceremonial old man a little know? yeah a little going away yeah. it was it was fun I used to had to carry Andre Ham all those guys so it was nice being one carried off this time. What, what does it mean to you to be the I guess the old the old guy in the group? Um, I feel like it's a pretty cool thing. I feel like I step up leadership wise, be able to be in here, just show the guys the rope, show what I've been through. When adversity hits, you got different guys who went through different things. I mean, I've been through a lot since I've been in here, and I feel like it's cool. It's a good opportunity and help the young guys and be able to just show lead by example. You, you haven't done anything with the hair in recent years. Is that the, this, this is the first time you what, – what led you to do that? Uh, so last year we did the little uh, fall camp thing, and then Katan, I told him I'll do it again with him this offseason, or this fall camp. So yeah, we did it there. But he's going orange this season. Yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing, not doing that. Not doing that. Probably not. You, well, you didn't participate in spring. Um, what what's – I mean, what, what were you just sort of nicked up a little bit or just uh, – So I had a shoulder injury during the season. And then played through it, and then I got a little bit of surgery afterwards to help repair it. And then figured it'd be best just to do recovery and stuff throughout the off season. Still was able to lift, run, all that, and then be full go for season in camp. Do you feel like you've you've had a season where you've been able to just go all? It seems like you've had a, a number of injuries throughout your career. Yeah, right. Mill just cut loose for an entire. Maybe you have. Maybe you have, if you had one season where you felt like you were pretty good. Yeah, I'd say my fir- my first two seasons when I got yeah. here, my freshman and sophomore year. I feel like right now I'm in a really good spot body health everything and fired up and ready to go yeah how do you feel like you've grown in that time uh i feel like it's actually helped a lot uh try to take the blessings out of it obviously those are not something that you want to go to injuries all that stuff but it's helped me grow mature um i've been able to look at football a different way everyone always says football's gonna be there for or football's not gonna be there forever and i never i was always good healthy and stuff so i never really thought of it like that and then once I got hurt, I really started to think, like, this isn't going to be here forever, so I really got to cherish those moments. And I feel like it's helped me mature a lot. You've talked about that adversity, obviously dealing with personal adversity through injuries and obviously this team dealing through adversity over the last several years, last season being a great season. How do you guys make sure you guys don't lose this momentum coming off of last season going into this season where I know that we've talked to several players, they feel like a Pac-12 championship's inside for you guys. How do you guys make sure you don't lose track of that? For sure, yeah. That's something that uh, started in the off season. Take it one day at a time. I mean, we set the standard for where we wanted to be last year, but I know we got a lot more in us. We got a lot of guys returning. Coaches have an amazing plan for us. So just keep taking it one day at a time. Don't look forward. Don't look at Pac-12 right now. Each each day, just keep grinding, keep working, and getting better. How's the shoulder feel now? I feel good. I'm 100% ready. You're one of a handful of guys that have been here all six years under Jonathan. What, what do you think about when you look back to 2018 and how far you guys have come? Yeah, it's been... Especially up front, where, you know, you, 2018, it was... <laughs> it was tough. Now, there's been some major leaps. Um, yeah, I think culture, I think that was a big thing. We, uh, Coach Smith turned the culture around here. I think all the players bought in. It was something that we knew. We Everyone believed his plan, believed his vision, and I think we've been able to execute and carry it out. Did you see that in 2018? Was it hard to see that at the time? Or? Yeah, it was, I'd say it was a little hard. Um, I mean, coming into college, still trying to adjust to everything. I was I wouldn't say I was fully understanding where where we should be at. Yeah. But now that we've been able to accomplish some things, now I know where we should where we stand at, where we should be. At. Now you've got to be out there with this defense for the entirety of fall camp. Is there something this group has that maybe you guys didn't have last year? Um, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I think just that unity. I think it's a whole new group. We got a lot of young guys, a lot of talent in the room. Just continuing to be together and uh, push each other. We got a lot of young guys pushing the older guys, a lot of older guys pushing the young guys, and I think I think we're in for a good season.